Hey y'all, it's Taylor from the Resin Vault Shop. Today I'm going to be doing resin art on the canvas for the first time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm taking this gray pigment and um, I'm going to take some silver glitter and I'm going to mix those two together. That's the silver glitter. And right now I'm off to the side mixing it together. And then I'm going to take my white pigment and add it into my um, other cup of resin and I'm off to the side mixing that I added also a little um, bit of my white mica powder um, and now I'm taking the turquoise color pigment and I'm adding it to my last and final cup of resin and I also added um, some blue mica powder to that as well so right here I'm just showing you um, me mixing in the gray with the silver glitter. So now I'm taking my white pigment and my white mica powder and I'm mixing that together. So the next color is the uh, turquoise with the blue mica powder mixed in. I'm taking that and stir that in and this is going to be the pop of color that's going to be on the canvas. Alright so now we're taking the white and the gray resin that we mixed up and we're gonna uh, put it on the canvas in like some lines type motions because what I was going for I was trying to get like gray and white stripes on as the background and the blue was gonna be the pop color that was you know coming through the center but like I said in the beginning of the video, it went a different way. But it still turned out amazing. So right here I'm adding some more of the gray. And then I'm going to add some more of the white because I realized I didn't put enough on the canvas to be able to move it around and make it spread and all of that. So I just added some more gray. And then I had went in and added a little more white. Now I'm taking my card, just any old card um this was the old gift card i had and this is what i'm going to do like the swiping motions to get like those stripes what i was trying to get with the stripes <laughs> but it turned out like this which is still cool um i still liked it so i'm just going in and you know doing some more swipes and adding some more white to make the white pop more because i feel like the gray was kind of taking over so I was just, you know, just going in and tweaking it to how I like it. So I finally decided that I liked this. So now I'm adding my blue. Um, I was going to do just one stripe of the blue, but then I was like, this blue is really pretty against this gray and white. So I added more, um, more stripes of the blue color. Now I'm taking a spork and I'm just going to run it through. Well, I took some alcohol. There was alcohol. Sprayed it on the back of the spork. And now I'm like, you know, maneuvering it. Wiggly lines and stuff like that. To kind of manipulate the, um, you know, to get some dimension and things. Um, so right here I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I done kind of messed up. So I'm taking a straw to kind of... Um, blow it out to give that cloudy effect so i took my um straw and did that okay so i kind of took a break from the straw um also make sure you you know um rub the resin on the side of your canvas because you know you want to look like a whole complete piece so that's what i'm doing right now so um i still wasn't satisfied with how this came out so I started to uh, add more blue it wasn't that I wasn't satisfied with it it's just one spot was too gray you know so I had to break it up I added some more blue in and um, when I added the blue in I think I went back in and started blowing it or I started tilting it oh yeah I started oh there you go <laughs> Um, I went in and kind of blowed it with the straw. And I'm like, mm, this kind of ain't doing what I wanted it to do. 
So then I started to tilt it. Now when you tilt, tilt, you know, you're going to see the resin or paint, whatever you decide to use, move, you know. So kind of do that slowly. Don't don't rush it. Now, with this, I was like, okay, satisfied, sprayed it with um, alcohol. But clearly I wasn't satisfied, so I went in and added some white um, and kind of blew that line out because it was like when I added the blue, it was like, okay, now it's too much blue in this spot. So I added a white line to kind of break that up. But then I'm like, okay, now it's too much white. So I took my um, turquoise alcohol ink and I did a dot. And then I had took the white resin that I had mixed up. I pulled that on top of that. And then I think I took a little of the gray and added that in as well. And then, um, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is me adding the gray in. Um, so, yeah, I I think I blew it or I might have tilted it or something like that. But I um, once I did that, I was actually finally, finally satisfied with it. So here's me blowing um, that out with the straw. Um, it actually turned out so cute. It turned out cute. I really, really loved it. Um, this piece is for my mom. Um, I was supposed to had to gave it to her for Mother's Day, but um, I was waiting for my resin to come in. So... I did it and I was like, let me record this for YouTube or whatever. So now I'm tilting um, the uh, canvas to, you know, mix that coloring a little bit better to my liking. And now I'm just tilting the canvas, just tilting it, getting things maneuver how I liked. And I was finally, finally <laughs> satisfied with this. Um, yeah. So I was happy with this. I'm spraying it with some more alcohols um, so that if there was any bubbles or any bubbles that would have formed, they would come to the surface and pop. So right here, I'm just showing you guys why I put the leftover resin that I had, which I put it in the rolling, um, well, in the tray mode. Um, so yeah, this is how it turned out. I really, really loved how it turned out. I'm gonna um, show you guys a close up in a second. Here's the close up. So be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more like whole videos because I'm really loving this resin art on the canvas. Like it's so much fun. Thank you guys for watching.